and welcome back to the Stan Watson Show again. I'm your host, Stan Watson. Call us tonight at 770-559-2999 for anything that you might want to know about the show tonight. Well, my first guest is a group from Gateway to College Academy. I have Mr. Robert Wigfall, who I've met before, Mr. Uh, Clifton Rawls, and a student, Ms. Jennifer Hollins. Welcome to the Stan Watson Show. How Thank you. you. Good. I'm going to start with Mr. Wigfall. Tell me about uh, your organization, Gateway to College Academy. How did it start and what, is, what do you do? Well, we, we actually started about eight years ago. We are a clone of a uh, program mm -hmm. uh, in, uh, from Portland Community okay. College. Okay. And um, we take students that normally are not doing well in traditional high school. Mm -hmm. We give them an opportunity to come to the college campus complete their high school diploma by mm -hmm. taking college courses. So it's okay. kind of like dual enrollment. Mm -hmm. But m most of the time, people think of dual enrollment, they think of students that are A, B students. M most of my students are probably more like in the C category. C category. And maybe a few a little bit below that. But, right. but we give them an opportunity to complete their high school diploma by taking college courses. Oh, excellent. Now, how long is this uh, process? I mean, is it a curriculum for six weeks, eight weeks? Well, it, it depends on the individual student. Most of my students, I think it takes them about two years probably to complete their, their high school diploma. But the good thing about it, again, they end up having college credits. So right. right there on Georgia Perimeter College campus, and they can continue. So some mm -hmm. of them continue working towards their associates. Degree. So you're located right here in the Cab County at Georgia Perimeter College. Right. And you have a normal, I guess, college classroom and uh, college teachers, I guess, or instructors. Absolutely. Now, how long have you been in, in, in existence? Now, I heard a little bit about you. How uh, long have you been around here? Eight, eight years. Okay, eight and years. I, and I think we're probably the best kept secret in DeKalb County. I think that you are. You told me that one time <laughs> at one of my breakfast meetings. Now, you have your director principal, Mr. Clifton Rawls. Mr. Rawls, how long have you been with the school? Where, where did you uh, come from? What's your background? Well, my background, I came from uh, Clark Atlanta University. Oh, right here, okay. I was there for about uh, 29 years. Okay. And then um, I went to some other places, and I was fortunate to meet... Uh, Mr. Wigfall and mm -hmm. got a job at Gateway, okay. uh, which is a different kind of environment now because we're working with high school students, right. you know, and trying to encourage them to go further. Talk a little bit about the uh, admission process and how you these students are chosen or what, what kind of uh, requirements are, are required Basically, to get them in the Basically, they just have to have uh, six credits or be sophomore status. Mm -hmm. They have to reside in DeKalb County. Okay. That's a good uh, thing. I like that. Yes. <laughs> and... Uh, be able to uh, complete the program before they turn 21. So okay. it's for students who are between the ages of 16 and 20. 16 and 20. Mm -hmm. So if we have a junior or a rising senior, would they be, uh, Mr. Wickfall, available to come to this, this school? Oh, yes. Okay. Uh, as a matter of fact, I probably would encourage someone like that because I think I can probably get them through. Uh, I think my statistics state that probably that seems where we do the best with okay. someone about that that that, that junior senior, right. uh, junior uh, status senior, right uh -huh. what is the um, uh, the gender makeup uh, it's about 50 50 okay about 50 50 uh, so male and female they coexist in the classes like a college yes. campus yes okay mr. Uh, Rawls that poses pose any problem for you I mean at that that age being now, a principal now the the students we work with you know it's just a matter of trying to get them to do what they're supposed to do and in focus, terms of focus mm -hmm. and get the information in uh, and uh, understand that they're in college also. Right. Mm -hmm. And because they might not have done well in high school, it's a different environment mm -hmm. and we have tutors for them. So it's, it's not a problem if they right. do what we ask them to do. Now, who are you accredited by accreditation? I mean, the SACS or we're, what we're is SACs it, college? Accredited. Okay. I mean, so what about any college accreditation? Uh, again, SACS accreditation okay. for that. So they, they have, it's, it's almost like seamless in terms of mm -hmm. leaving high school and they can continue right there at mm -hmm. the college campus. So mm -hmm. uh, they have no problem. Mm -hmm. Now, you, you're a good, um, I guess, can do it for students that are, are facing a little challenge in high school. Correct. How, how, do you, how are you getting the word out about you exist? I mean, you know, I've seen you and you come to my breakfast. I mean, how, what are we doing to get the word out to, to uh, attach your greatness to students that need you? Well, we, we, we uh, rely on the, the counselors in DeKalb County mm -hmm. Schools, number okay. one, I would say. We, but we, we have things out at quite a few of the libraries. Mm -hmm. uh, almost all the rec centers have materials. From, from Gateway to College Academy. Uh, we, we, we're talking to quite a few of the churches. Good, we got the faith community involved as well. We're trying. Mm, okay. that, that's been a little, little slow. <laughs> I, I've been, well, maybe we're, we can help we're, you with we're that. working on that. Though. Okay, well, uh, we have a great curriculum um, for Bible and social services at Greater Travelers Rest, so maybe right. I can get you over there to talk to 
Pastor E. Dewey Smith one day, sure, and, and we'll talk about to. that. Now, before I get to uh, uh, Ms. Jennifer Hollins, tell me a little bit about uh, any criteria financially. Do we have financial aid? How does it work? Well, we, we, kick, we take care of tuition mm -hmm. and books. Okay. Students do have an obligation to Georgia Perimeter College of $285, mm -hmm. and that is really what they call mandatory fees. Mm -hmm. And That covers all their little expenses. What we call those in college? Uh, well, yeah, it, it, it covers the thing like uh, things dealing with uh, their, their technology right. fees, student mm -hmm. affairs okay, fees. Okay, that's right. I couldn't those get kind, it right. Those <laughs> kinds of things. It's been a while since I went to school, okay. Yeah. But I knew that 285, care, that's all they have to pay per quarter or per semester. semester. Per semester. semester. Per semester. Right. Okay. Well, we have somebody, Ms. Jennifer Hollins, who is a fall 2011 graduate. And so you've gone through the course. Tell me a little bit about your experiences. It was a good experience. Um, all the teachers, they're really caring. They, it's not just like a regular high school where it's you do your work, you mm -hmm. get yelled at. It's like they really care <laughs> you about you. They get yelled at. <laughs> <laughs> they really care so about you. They treat you like an yeah. adult, so. Huh? Yeah, that's what it is. You treat you like an adult. Uh -huh. And you just, you get done. And you also get credit in college for it, so it's like you're not wasting your time right. or going to any circles. You're progressing. Excellent. Now, what were some of the challenges you had, and how did you overcome the challenges with Gateway helping you? Freedom. You have to learn <laughs> okay. to, mm -hmm. to manage your time and not procrastinate. Just because you are treated like a, co a college student mm -hmm. doesn't mean, you know, you, you got to mm -hmm. be able to do your homework and, and hang out at the okay. same time. And uh, uh, how long were you at uh, Gateway? Um, two two years. Two years. So it took you two years as well. Yes, sir. Now, where are you now? Are you in? in uh, um, I'm in, I'm still there. I, okay. But I, I'm finished with the program, Great. and you know I go to class, and okay. <laughs> that's it. So you're you're one of the testimonies to say that this can really work. Right. Right. Okay. And did you attend school here in the Cab County? I guess you did. Um, I had went to Open Campus, okay. mm -hmm. and I also went to McNair High School. Okay. So, yeah. Excellent. Well, I'm glad that you came and you're a testimony. Let me get back to Mr. Ross. Mr. Ross, what is your census like right now? How many people do you have in the classroom and overall how many people in the school? Well, um, I think Mr. Wigfall, I'm not sure how many well, we think in have the school. Yeah. Well, the, this semester, I'm, my numbers are kind of low. Actually, I'm, okay. I'm extending our uh, admissions deadline to August 30th, actually. Mm -hmm. And uh, right now, so I'm, I'm looking for maybe about 20 about 20, 25 more students. Well, I got some kids. In. I'm going to call you tomorrow and give you okay. some kids. I know that. Please. <laughs> Look, Mr. Raw, they need to be in your okay. school right away. <laughs> right. Now, what are some of the uh, uh, colleges doing when you, they complete? I mean, are they being attracted to any college? Are you steering them to any college? Are there any counselors uh, that steer them to going you know, to higher education? I try to steer them, I think, mostly to Georgia Perimeter okay. and, and try to get them to finish while mm -hmm. they're there. Mm -hmm. Because, as you know, their, their courses at Georgia Perimeter will take them just about to any college. Anywhere. Right. So uh -huh. uh, that's what we're trying to do. Have you seen any, any uh, um, I guess, uh, instances where uh, there were students that came out of the CAF where you really had to help them with, with challenging subjects, whether it was uh, English or math? Can you talk a little bit about that, Mr. Ross, or Mr. Wickfall? Well, I, I think, well, I guess across the board, most of my students have some kind of a hurdle mm -hmm. that they probably have to deal with. Right. And I, and I think the good thing is they get a lot of one-on-one -on -one attention with us. And because mm -hmm. they get that individual attention, I think mm -hmm. a lot of them are able to, to persevere. Mm -hmm. What we say is that they don't have to come to us knowing everything. Right. We just want them to work hard every day. Mm -hmm. And if they work hard every day, come to tutoring, mm -hmm. I think that makes a big, big so difference. So you have even tutoring at the school as well? Oh, yes. Okay. They, have, okay. they have tutors available to them from 8 in the morning until 5 in the evening. Now, what time does the class start, man? That's a good question. Uh, first, first class usually begins around 8, but, but it depends. They're on a sort of a college-style mm -hmm. model. So some students start at 10, some start at 11. I have mm -hmm. students that start at, at 1 o'clock. Oh, really? Okay. I have students, you know, they don't like getting up early, so <laughs> they start right. at 1 o'clock. They, they start at 1 and go to 5. Now, Ms. So. Holland, you didn't have that problem, did you? Um, no, I was the morning one. <laughs> You're the I morning worked. one. <laughs> yeah. You got in and got it out the way. Yeah, I had to go to work. Now, what do you actually want to do after you uh, actually complete? What do you want to do? You want to stay at Georgia Perimeter or something else you like to do? Um, I wanted to do nursing my RN. Okay. So. There's a very, very shortage of nurses in Georgia and all over the nation, so that's a good field. Good feel. So that's what you want to do? Yes, sir. That's what I want to do. Excellent. Well, Mr. Wickfall and Mr. Rawls, is there anything you want to share with the, the uh, community about how they can contact you and uh, the kind of students that you're looking for? And I think you also need to make a plea to the faith-based community <laughs> while you're here to let them know that we're looking for students from, from the churches, too. Yeah, well, we would like for the youth ministers to contact Mr. Rawls at 678-891-3223. Uh, 
and uh, we're willing to, to roll to schools, to the churches, uh, mm -hmm. rec centers, where, wherever people would wherever like to. Wherever needed. Wherever right. You're going to the highways and byways to get them there. Oh, yeah. Excellent, oh, yeah. excellent. excellent. So is there, Ms. Raw, that a, um, 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 I know we talked about the gender, is there more boys than girls? I just like to kind of figure out what's going on in our community and society. About nah, 50 50? It's, it's pretty even. It's, it's pretty, pretty even. even. Okay, yeah. okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, some of the uh, courses or prep courses they have for college, what did you take, Ms. Holland? Some of the for um, college? Math, English, science, okay. um, all that. I mean, everything. It's, it's normal. Okay, so it's normal college courses for you. Right. And you get the college credit. That's right. a good right. thing. Well, excellent. Well, you want to say anything to anybody that might want to come to school and tell them why they should come to Gateway Academy? Do it. Don't waste <laughs> your time. Do it. Okay. Just do it. Uh -huh. I mean, it's easy. It, it's right on Clarkson Memorial Drive. Mm, on just the bus go line, there. So don't, don't, no right excuse. on the bus, bus line, line. No excuse. Mm. Just get your education, get your diploma, and get some college credit while you're at it. I like that. And so they can get their diploma. They can get the college credit if they just go and focus in school. Right. All you got to do. That's all you got to do. All you got to do. That sounds too easy. We got some kids that I know <laughs> that we're going to try to get them to come to Gateway. Please. To make sure that Please. it works as well. Yeah. Well, wonderful. Uh, give me your website or your phone number again before I let you go. Well, if they're trying to reach us through uh, a website, uh, www.gpc.edu, and if they type in Gateway in the little square box, that'll take them directly to our webpage. Okay, good. And they and can download a uh, uh, an application there as well. Excellent, application as well. And the phone number again, does somebody want to call tomorrow morning? 678-891-3223 uh, is Mr. Rawls' direct line, mm -hmm. and 3220 will bring you to our, our offices as well. Excellent. Well, our first guest has been uh, Gateway to College Academy, a college preparatory and high school diploma uh, a place that we can get uh, help for our kids in DeKalb County. Right. And they're located at Georgia Perimeter College, right up in Clarkston. Right. And uh, from 8 to what again? Well, eight to five. Eight to five. No excuses. Ms. Hollis already <laughs> said she's a normal uh, early morning person. <laughs> you can come at one o'clock, but eight to five. They have tutoring. We'll help you get your high school diploma and also get some college credit. Mr. Robert, Robert Wickfall is the director and the principal, Mr. Clifton. Did I say right? Rawls. Thank you all so okay. much for coming by to stand and watch the show. You're welcome. Okay. And uh, reach out to us anytime that we can help you with that. Uh, we'll make sure that we get the word out for you. Please, thank you. Well, thank the first you. guest has been from Gateway to College Academy. We'll take a quick break and come right back. But I went by Cake Cafe today. Can y'all tell? I went by Cake Cafe today, and they said the first 10 people to come by right on Candler Road and say that Commissioner Stan Watson sent us, they got a very good deal for you. So go by and see them at Cake Cafe. They've been a great supporter. We'll take a quick break. And guess what? If you stay right there, we'll be right back. You're watching Stan Watch the Show. And welcome back to the Stan Watch the Show. I hope tonight that somebody will give me a call. The polls have been closed about, oh, 45 minutes now. Let me know what's going on in the Cab County. We had some state house raises. We had a school board race. And in Clayton County, that sheriff race. And then the chairman's race, Eldon Bell, is running in. And also... I think my good friend Wale is running also in a runoff election as well. And also let me know what's going on in Cobb County. So if you got that information, give me a call at 770-559-2999 and we will take that information. Don't forget to say this date on September the 8th, Jason Larry has the DeKalb Music Festival. September 8th, the DeKalb Music Festival right at Pantherville Stadium starts at 7 p.m. Doors open at 6. He has Glenn Jones, you know, he's a smooth, you know, kind of key sweat kind of guy. You got Avery Jones, and Avery is that kind of laid back, silky voice. You got uh, Antoine Knight, Blow the Horn Production, and also Casual and Soul Kitchen Band, and North Tunes, who is a great guitarist, and it's going to be hosted by Simon Baby and George Latell. That's September 8th at Pantherville Stadium, the DeKalb Music Festival, brought to you by Jason Larry Present. Well, my next guest, they're also music, Immeasurable. How you young ladies doing? Good. Hi, how, how are you? Are you? How, how are you? How y'all doing tonight? Great. We're great. Good. Now tell me who's who. I'm, I'm not sure. Okay. I'm Victoria. Hey, Victoria. Hey. I am Ronnie. Ronnie. Yes. That's R-O-N-N-I-E? Yes. You got okay, it. Okay. And your name is? Yana. Yana. Spell Yana. that. Y-A-N-N-A. -N -N -A. Okay. Where, where y'all from? From Baltimore, Baltimore, Maryland. All y'all from Baltimore? Well, well no. the yeah. Immeasurable, okay, the group, okay. was birthed in Baltimore, okay. Maryland. I'm originally from Memphis, Tennessee. Where? Yeah. Where'd you go to school? I didn't go to school in, you in from Memphis. Memphis. <laughs> oh, you from Memphis. Shelby <laughs> County is where. I'm from Memphis. I'm from Shelby County. Douglas no, you're High not. School. Okay, all right. Duh. Uh -huh. Wow. Uh -huh. I'm originally from Washington, D.C. Oh, I figured she yes. put it. Okay, Washington. Washington. And you're from Yanni? North Carolina. What part of North Carolina? Youngsville. 
Okay, I don't know where it is. Okay, well, great. We have North Nobody Carolina. Nobody does. That's okay. So let me ask you this. So how did you ladies get together? Wow. Well, I was in a group that our manager had previously managed, and, mm -hmm. you know, the group didn't work out. I was still there because mm -hmm. I'm really dedicated to what I do. Okay. Um, we met Yana from a guy that um, he had a guy group. Mm -hmm. And this guy that we knew introduced us to Yana. She moved to Baltimore at the time from North Carolina okay. after traveling on Greyhound. And we met Victoria. <laughs> yes, long ride. Okay. Yeah. And we met Victoria from a promoter in Baltimore that puts really? on talent shows. Mm -hmm. She was the missing piece to the puzzle. And we've been together now 10 years. Y'all been together 10 years? We're past the same Y'all look all like y'all 13. Yes. Y'all talking about 10, 10 years. years. Started young. <laughs> the, the, yes. So uh, you've been together 10 years. And uh, when you first got together, uh, was it all hunky dory? Where Absolutely. No, no, I figured not. that. I figured that. I, I, figured that. Think, I didn't really like her. A lot. You didn't really like yeah. her. Yeah, and I didn't. Think, I didn't no. like any of them. <laughs> you didn't like any of them. Okay. And we PKs, yeah. so and you would think that you know. Yeah. Could, you know, but ten but. years was a good time. So when you first got together, was the music like you know? Am I gonna sing this? Are you gonna do this? Or this not the type wow. I want to well, sing? Well, when we first got together, it was a understand. I don't even. It was just an understanding. Like every all of us could sing. Okay. So it wasn't a thing. We've never had an issue where we had to fight for leads and stuff mm -hmm, like that. Mm -hmm. When a song was presented, whoever sung the song the best got mm. the song. Now, who made that, that judgment call like that? Who's we did. We all. Yeah. Oh, so you can we would sit around and this is what we do. Play we a song. Everybody right. sings the verse. We mm -hmm. go one time around. And out of after, when it's all over, everybody like, like who do you think sounds yeah. the best? So are uh, you fair to each other? Yeah. yeah. Okay, all right. Because I, I, keep it yeah, the, our yeah. music yeah. is what we have to eat off of. So, exactly. you know, we don't want somebody I singing understand. a song that, you know, Mess we might show up. favoritism that week. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? It gets on the internet and it's there forever, so we wouldn't do so that. So the type of song that you guys sing the best, is, is it tempo or is it slow song? Is it, is it upbeat song, R&B? We can do anything. I mean, how do you choose, I mean, how do you choose a song? Who's better at like maybe a sultry kind of uh, love song? Well, slow, love, song. Love song. Slow, slow, slow song, slow, like slow we, song. We all are good at slow songs. I think that when it comes to certain styles, like Yana's really good at quartet okay. because she's yeah. from the South. Okay. Um, Ronnie, what are you saying about the South? I'm just, I'm, oh I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I got she, you on the top. She, she the quartet was, you know, right, that's right. where it's born. So she has a gospel uh, Ronnie flavor because she's yes, in the quartet. Ronnie has that Joe down Lagan, home, straight huh? okay, up. Yes. Okay. Ronnie, Five blind boys. Me and I don't really know what we we I, just. I think I'm, I'm good at singing ballads. I'm yeah, I was saying ballads. Love okay. But ballads, because I, re, I mean, I feel love songs. Because I'm okay. a lo I I'm really love. love. I'm a love. Okay, so you sing ballads more. And what do you do then? You think just strong suit? Like whatever. Okay, where's the 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 rapper? Oh, I group? rap. I See, do. I, think, I, I think can I would, rap. Okay, I you can, can rap. I can rap. Okay, now what do you think your style? Of, if I had to say this neo soul classical, what is it? What is your style now? It's life music. Yeah. Life music. Life. Yes. Okay, help me with that. Define life music. <laughs> life music is just music that invites people into God's world. So okay. in God's world, you have happiness, sorrow. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it is depression. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's anxiety. Sometimes it's excitement. So you're all singing about life experiences. Yeah. Everything. Oh, okay. Yes, sir. Okay, excellent. Mm, that's is great. Yeah. And so, uh, where do you perform last? Where'd you perform last? Wow, well, um, we, we were just at a church. It was uh, it was Ma it was Mount Sinai. Mount, Mount Sinai. Sinai. Mount, Mount Sinai. Sinai. Yeah. And then, like the the biggest thing before that was um in Douglasville, we um were with um, Ele um I'm sorry, Councilman Councilman yeah, yeah Samuel. Brought it, it starts with a B. Yeah, I forgot the last Jeez, name. Jeez, we're, we're horrible but, at names. Okay, so. but Charge it to our head, not our heart. Yeah. Yeah. We're out in Douglasville. We did Wind uh -huh. Down Wednesdays yeah. um, in Douglasville, mm -hmm. and it was for um, a, a campaign that they were doing down there oh, for, really? the, for the commissioner. Okay, good. So what are you, if you had to say that you were going on stage, what would your audience be consist of? Who, who would be out in the audience? We have everyone from like 5, five to 100. 5 to 100. People don't. Yeah, yeah. Five, that's a vast range. It's like from it's, Genesis yes. to Revelation. All the way. No, the really. Somewhere. Okay. Um, when it comes to us, we're a very, very unique group, okay. and we have just been blessed with the gift to be able to capture mm -hmm. all audiences. And Excellent. I think that's why people follow us and people love that us. And so they, you do have a following, huh? We do yeah. have you a got following. got a little fan club and Facebook we, and Twitter. We, do, we have yes. a little something. So. Well, you got to do that before you give us that information before you leave. Absolutely. Yeah. Excellent. So how many uh, CDs uh, have you made or... Um, in a song, we used to call them records in the day, but yes. I mean, oh, yeah. and they're Three. bringing back that term. They're yeah, bringing okay, back yeah. records. <laughs> they're bringing it back. That showed my age when I said, "How many records?" You no, because we'll say record every, okay. and then people look at us like, "What?" But yeah, okay. they're bringing that back. So we have uh, three. three. three yeah. We have our first one, um, "Predestined for the World," okay, um, which is like our praise and worship uh, okay. album, and then we have the Life Music mixtape mm, CD. Okay. What we did was we took um, like music. The beats from like Drake, Lil Wayne, Frankie Beverly, and Maze, no. and we you put said Frankie Beverly and Maze. Frankie Beverly and Maze. What y'all know about that? Well, I, I didn't know nothing that. you know so about. Yeah. Never let me go. I was at the concert a month ago at Chastain. Oh, no. uh, hello. 
<laughs> well, that's good. So y'all got a, a different variety of shows, a little bit of diversity. Yeah. I like that as yes. well. And we also have a Christmas CD, so that's uh, a great Christmas stocking really stuffer. Nice. Great mm, stocking okay. stuffer really for nice. Christmas time. All right, okay. So y'all, I'm glad y'all came on the Stan Watson show before y'all blew all the way up <laughs> and started opening for Lil Wayne. And like, at least I could <laughs> say I knew you before you really got famous. Absolutely. Now, we'll take a break, but when you come back, you're going to do one song for me. What was that song going to be? I think it's When God Loves. When God we'll Loves. Love. And it's a ballad, or it sounds like a Christian ballad or something. What is it? Well, how about we make the viewers stay tuned and let's not tell. Let's make uh -huh. them, oh, let's make them come back. They're trying to take over the show now. Let's, let's, let's make, make them come stay here so <laughs> we come back. Well, guess what? We'll take a quick break and come back with Immeasurable. You're watching Stan Watson Show at Comcast Studio 25, 10, 25 here in the Cab County. We'll be right back. You, and if all my dreams come true. And welcome back to Stan Watts Show again. I'm your host, Stan Watts. Give us a call tonight at 770-559-2999 if you want to talk about anything that's been on the show. And for our constituent services for Commissioner Stan Watson, call my office at 404-371-3681. Well, before we went to break, I was talking to these beautiful young ladies from North Carolina, D.C., and she saved Memphis. <laughs> The ladies are called Immeasurable, and uh, I'm so glad to talk with you guys. Uh, what's the song you going to do for us? When God Loves. When God Loves. Ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, Immeasurable. Wouldn't 
show. I hope that you enjoyed it measurable because I did. Ladies, that was fantastic. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you so much. But before I, I go any further, let, let me ask this. Now, you, don't y'all get upset with me. Okay. Tell me about the hairstyles. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, I wear the rainbow in my hair because the world says that the rainbow um, means homosexuality. That's uh -huh. what is the symbol for the rainbow. Okay. But the Bible says in Genesis 9, 13, that God gave his children and the creatures the rainbow as a promise that he would never flood the world using water ever again. Going to be fire next time, huh? <laughs> All right. And I wear my hair in the ponytails because it symbolizes how we as the body of Christ should come to God and how we should read his word and that's like a child. Because the Bible says if you, you have to enter into, into heaven mm -hmm. as a child. And um, it just um, states that the more you trust God, the more you love him, he's able mm -hmm. to manifest himself in our lives each and every day. Okay. Right. Now, of course, I wear my hair in the Mohawk. Because in ancient times, the Indians wore their hair in the Mohawk to scare off the enemy. Mm. I just represent the Joshua generation and the warriors the of Christ. The Joshua. Bible says we, yes, because jo Joshua mm. was bold. He, he was, was bold. Like, what? Hey, we were fighting a minute. He was, yeah, he was, he was so the captain of the army. I represent army. that generation. The mm. Bible says we fight not against flesh and blood, but evil spirits in high places. So I'm a warrior for Christ. Well, excellent. Well, I had to ask you, and plus y'all told me to make sure I asked you that anyway. Oh, my so, God. Right? He really I, had bust, I had to bust them out. They told me, make sure you ask about our hair. <laughs> Beautiful hair, though. But um, now, where are you appearing next? Anywhere in the new venue, anywhere? Well, we're going to be um, Wind Down Wednesdays in Douglasville. That is going excellent. to be on the, the 29th, 29th of this month. 29th. And, um, 7 p.m., and it's free. Yes, and it's, it's free. absolutely free. And you all can catch us at your local college or whatever. We've started our own campaign called excellent. Don't Skip the Vote. We're encouraging people Don't to skip register. The vote. Don't, Don't skip, skip the vote. It's time to start it. we got to get the president. Obama will re-elect. I know it's supposed to be nonpartisan, but everybody know what the deal is. Okay. So we're not right. telling you who to vote for. We mm -hmm. just want you to register because it's very and important vote. That, that we that you register. And in the end, like he said, vote. Vote. <laughs> All right. Uh, before I let you go and do this next number, you need to give them your website and a phone number in case they want to get you to come back to a, one of their venues or, in, uh, a, a, or you know, maybe attract uh, you to another venue. Absolutely. How can they contact you? Well, you can go to our website, immeasurablesings.com. That's I-M-M-E-A-S-U-R-A-B-L-E-S-I-N-G-S.com. And also, you can follow us on Twitter at immeasurable3 or I am three, Ronnie, Yana, and Victoria. All yep. right, well tell me about this next number you're gonna do for us. This song is called, We Win, We're Believers. We win. We, we win, win. Okay. we are believers, we believe in Jesus uh, mm -hmm. Christ. So, you know, anybody who's on the Jesus team, we believe are winners. So okay. we think that it's appropriate with the campaign and everything coming Excellent. up. Um, as long as you're in Christ Jesus, you're always a winner. So that's all right. All. So this next song by Immeasurable, ladies and gentlemen, is called, We Win. Without yes. further ado again. Turn your TVs up, everybody. It it's oh about to be a real win. It's about to be a real rock. Imagine it with We Win. We Win. <laughs> now call y'all kids into the living room. All we do is win, 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 no matter what. We're repping for the kingdom and we never giving up. His love is so amazing, never ever changing. Sins and praises up. If you a winner, put your hands and up stay and let them stay there. Stay there. Let them stay there. Stay there. Up now, up now, up now. Cause all we do is win, win, win. So if you're going in, throw your hands in there. Somebody see it. Come on. Wherever he goes, I surely will follow. He's done me well, you know. He let me care who you how. Took me out the club, took the touch, look at me now. I ain't thinking no more, no more. I ain't stressing no more. So you can come or you can run, but you hit the door. I don't know what I do, God, if there were no you. So I'm a representative forever and it's day true. Cause he gives me life and he shows me love. He gave his worth only sin from up above. And got no time for games. Cause all I'm really saying quiet If you know my line, I put your hands up All we do is win, 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 no matter what We're for the kingdom and we never get enough This love is so amazing, never ever change Never change your brain is up Hey! And let them stay there, let them stay there Let them stay there up now, up now, up now Cause all we do is win, win, all we do is win So we can go and then throw your hands in there so quitting is a no-no, every day's a struggle Just to make it even though I'm tired, I gotta move on I know I got hit, but yes, I can take it I was I was still more tough. Tough. So with God, I'm I gonna make it see He paid the ultimate sacrifice when I died So in return, I'll give my life And I'll tell the world how good he's been to me Like other neighbor, Jesus always been there for me and every day I promise to give him all my praise To show I'm grateful that his love will never, never change 
Your word is so true. I'll always serve you. I'm repping for the kingdom of the day. Yeah, we the He gave me right on time. Nothing. Anything. Thank you so much. That group was just immeasurable. Oh, that's the name of the group, too. I'm sorry. They were awesome. They did an awesome, awesome job. I hate to say this because my next guest is Dr. Uh, Christopher Griffin. And I told you, if you go by Cake Cafe uh, and mention that Commissioner Stan Watson sent me, they have a very special discount for you. Right there on Candler Road, the address is, let me make sure I got it right, it is actually 368 Candler Road, Cake Cafe, pies, cakes, cookies. And guess what we're going to talk about, Dr. Griffin? Obesity. <laughs> How you doing today? Thank you, Commissioner. Good to see you. So good to see you too. Good to see you as well. We're talking about obesity for children, though, right? Absolutely. Now you know that uh, the president's wife, Miss Michelle Obama, has been talking about less move and obesity. What are you doing to help the cause? Are you something totally different? Well, first and foremost, mm -hmm. I thank you for having me. Are you my friend? Hey guys, he's my friend. And we friends. <laughs> we are friends. So yes. the question is. Okay. Mm -hmm. Why did you put me on after those girls? I don't even know that's why like, we're here. That was just that's like putting somebody on. That's like putting somebody on after Michael Jackson. I know, has I know. And then they performed on us, didn't they? They did. They did. Well, I'm gonna have to get them one of my groups uh, settings and make sure they do one of my fundraisers or something. And so that last song that they sang, Let's Win, ties in to this message that I'm okay. talking about. And what's your message? It's a platform on childhood obesity. Okay. Because in order to win this battle, we have to lose. Mm -hmm. And so this mm -hmm. is a personal story, a personal battle that we have to do to overcome it. Mm -hmm. So everyone recognizes the facts and figures. You know, this may be the first generation that does not outlive their parents. Mm. You can walk through the mall, you can walk in your church, and unfortunately you see children waddling mm -hmm. behind their parents. Mm -hmm. It has to end. It has to end somewhere. So do you think that's a case of uh, just natural progression of uh, physicality, or is it something we're doing? Is it sugar-free drinks or sugar in our drinks? What is it, a diet? What, what do you think is happening to our children? Well, it's a combination of multiple factors. Okay. One is lack of exercise. Lack of exercise. Okay, I can get um, to that sometimes too. Okay. Well, you look like you're in good shape. Look, you've been lifting no, some weight. No, I'm trying to lose some weight. I've been lifted, but i got to lose a little bit. So this is a, a problem particularly okay that's um, particularly when we look at urban and underserved populations. Mm -hmm. uh, school and after school programs many times have been eliminated. Mm -hmm. And so a school playground, mm -hmm. after school programs may be the only place that these children have unstructured free play. For exercise and those other kinds of things. For exercise, yeah. and you say those other things. Mm -hmm. You think about when we were kids at recess. Yeah. That also became that time for problem solving. Right. You learned how to avoid a fight. Right. You, you use trading cards. Right. So it, it, mm -hmm. it served a purpose for other and things. And we're cutting those out in most of our schools and now. And now we've cut it out. That's right, okay. And so this platform that I'm on okay. is about changing the equation. Okay, and it's how we do that to help you though? Well, that's what I want to show you, okay. one of these things. So okay. the first thing I have okay. is a gift. Let me see what, it, I'll hold it up for you. It's the tale of two athletes, okay? Kaylee, if you can get a copy of that. 
a shot of that? Go ahead. Yes. It's a tale of two athletes, the story of Jumper and the Thumper. Mm -hmm. And so this is part of the platform that my wife and I have developed in order to combat childhood obesity. Mm -hmm. So my perspective on this, I believe, is uniquely different than anyone who's told this story. Okay. So I can tell this. This is by you, Dr. Griffin, and, and my wife, Dr. She's a PhD. G. Doctor, yes. the PhD. <clears throat> okay. Dr. Griffin. Of course, as you know, right. she is the brains of the family. <laughs> okay. Smile, Gina. So you guys, you guys came up with this book. Yes. And how does it work with the kids? I mean, it so, looks like it's easy reading. Yes. So let's, let me explain how it works with okay. the kids. So this is a story that I've been telling now for about the past 10 years. Okay. And it's based on real life experience. Mm -hmm. And so my perspective is this. All right. This story is about loss mm -hmm. that has been turned into hope and inspiration. Mm -hmm. I lost my best friend to complications of obesity. Mm -hmm. And if you look him up on the internet, his name is Joe Drake. He played in the NFL for the San Francisco 49ers okay. for Philadelphia Eagles. Mm. He's the heaviest player to ever die from complications of obesity. Oh, really? And so he died during the prime of his life. And so I was one who just experienced tremendous loss. Mm -hmm. And I said, <laughs> thank you. And I said that I had to do something about it. Mm -hmm. And so this story is part of that message. Right. Where and he's an al al athlete, you say? And he's yes. Okay. He was an athlete. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, this is the path that many children mm -hmm. and family members with, may, may face. Mm -hmm. And so what we offer with our program is healthy living styles. And so what this story hopefully does is it imparts a message of hope and inspiration so that when a child hears and reads this story, mm -hmm. they feel it and can find a way to win. In order to win again, we have to lose. And the book is basically, looks like it's written for children, so uh, they become more involved more so than the parents, and they can help with the, with the um, eating and the exercise, those kind of things. Absolutely. Okay. And so, for example, here's how this, this book has worked. Okay. Um, uh, there's a parent who purchased the book and read it to his two young children mm -hmm. who are ages five and seven. Okay they have internalized this character. So just a couple of days ago, the parents were having dinner, mm -hmm. the parents ordered dessert, and the children then said, hey dad, don't do this. <laughs> I don't want you to end up like the thumper. Right. And so that's what we're Excellent. trying to do. Cut we're back, not, cut back, back on calories, cut back on sweets and desserts. Cut back, yes. Okay, cut back. Well, we don't have to eliminate them, mm -hmm, but, cut but back. everything needs balance. A mm -hmm. balance of exercise, a balance of activity, mm -hmm. uh, a balance of desserts is fine. Right. Okay. Now, do, are you in schools, or where are you trying to get this message out? This is a, a great story, Jumping the Thumper. How, how, how are you getting it out to the faith community and to the schools, especially in our youth groups and other places? How, how are you doing that? Yes. We are going to all sites. Okay. So part of my plat our platform is this, is we're reaching out to local neighborhood schools. Mm -hmm. My wife and I would be happy to come to PTA meetings Excellent. to share our message, Excellent. to share our program, and it's absolutely free. Now, what about the book itself? Now, is the book free or the cost on the book? The book is twenty four ninety nine. Twenty four ninety nine. And uh, we also have my wife has developed a companion workbook. Okay. That and goes hand in hand with the story. All right. And the workbook. Tell me about the workbook. We got about three minutes. Okay. The workbook complements the the storyline. Okay. So there are games in there. Oh. Like okay. read the labels mm -hmm, to mm -hmm, help a child mm -hmm. to learn how to make healthy choices in their food. I see you got a physical activity diary for the kids. Absolutely. That's starting early. That's, yes. that's starting early, okay. Yes, and so what my wife and I, this is part of this mm -hmm. personal message. Mm -hmm. And again, this is something that we all have to do. DeKalb County mm -hmm. is doing great things okay. yeah, with Healthy DeKalb. Healthy DeKalb, and we have actually been working with uh, Dr. Ford on that. Yes, Okay. we have great parks in our system. Mm -hmm. uh, Ranger Robbie up at Arabia Mountain Mm -hmm. will take people on tours. Mm -hmm. Public and private industry have also become involved with these projects. Mm, okay. uh, my employer, for example, Kaiser Permanente, okay. has you know, healthy living classes healthy living. that you can go to any Kaiser facility. You don't have to be a member, and you can take cooking classes. Oh, my goodness. This book talks about bike riding, pull-ups, running, jumping rope, swimming, basketball, soccer. I mean, some of the physical activities that uh, most kids don't do now unless they're just pushed out the door by the parents. So we got to make sure it works as well. Before I let you go, Dr. Uh, uh, Griffin, give them a, uh, information on where they can reach you, where you and your wife can come out to the schools or the PTA or to the youth groups. Yes. Uh, you can go to our email address, which is jumper.thethumper at yahoo.com. 
You can also find us at Facebook, facebook.com slash okay. jumper and the thumper. That's A and D. So you, you can go to those particular sites and you'll come out free of charge. There's free of a charge. charge for the books, though. Charge for the books. Charge for the books, but for your program that you and your wife uh, undertaken, you can come out to the school, the PTA, and get it done. Absolutely. All right, give them that phone number one more time. We've got to make sure we get it out. Um, email address is jumper.thethumper at yahoo.com. The book can also be found on Amazon.com, Barnes and Nobles, and AuthorHouse.com. Uh, and for the record, he is a DeKalb County resident. That's a good thing. And I've uh, been a very good friend. So please, please uh, see what we can do with the tale of two athletes, the story of Jumper and Thumper uh, by Dr. and Dr. Mr. Griffin, Mr. and Mrs. Griffin, Dr. Doctor, like that. And we'll make sure we get it also uh, in our office at 404-371-3681. You want to give a shout out to anybody, to the wife, anybody? Gina, I love you. I couldn't have done it without you. I heard you were looking for a co-host. I'll oh. be happy to be your Ed McMahon. But guess what I need to do? What's that? I need to get them measurable back. <laughs> yeah, you got to get them back. You got to get them back. We need to measure them back. Okay, now, uh, how long uh, does this, I guess, for a course? If we went to a school or to a church, how long is the curriculum? You can get it done in two can, weeks, three weeks, six weeks? Well, the thing is this. We're looking at lifetime. Okay. So one of the things about battling this childhood obesity mm -hmm is making you a healthier you, mm -hmm. recognizing yourself, your body type, and then making adjustments. Okay. So it's not so much just going on a crass right, diet, right. You know, it's adjusting life for you to yeah. make you more healthy. And I think most of the time when the schools or churches would like to bring in, they like, oh, this, gonna, this guy gonna be here 10 weeks, two weeks, three weeks, but it's, it's lifetime. Lifetime. And so you, you're teaching them how to do life skills to make sure yes. it works for them. So if we were to come to a PTA meeting, mm -hmm. we might present for an hour and 15 minutes. Okay and then you just want to be able to come back into school to talk to the kids. Absolutely. Well, it sounds good. Well, Dr. Griffin, I really appreciate you coming on. Uh, we're gonna see if we can help you maybe make a presentation uh, at our community academy meeting that we to. have. And I think that uh, it'll be great for our kids. Uh, so look for Dr. Griffin, the tale of two athletes, Jumper and Thumper, and they're very, very good. And I think I got my personal copy. That's your personal copy. All right, I'll take that home, make sure that it works. Well, look, I've had a great time here at uh, Comcast Studio TV channel 25 tonight. I uh, hope that you'll see with us or be with us again next week uh, for our live call in show at 770 559 2999. Remember, you need to know anything about constituent service to call me at 404 371 3681. So, thank you again for tuning in to the Stan Watcher Show. I'll see you next week. <laughs>